let you go because time my time is up. Fear not. God wants you not to be fearful. The enemy makes you think that if I give, somebody is getting over on me. If I give unto the prophet, he's getting over on me. He's conning me. He's not. The persons that stand in this office are the representatives of God. You have to find you somebody, whether it's me or somebody else, you have to find you somebody you can trust, somebody that you can walk behind and be faithful behind, because guess what? You are obligated and responsible to make sure that every need is supplied in their life, because what you do in their life is what you have a right to get back in your life. Amen. You cannot expect, I'm going to tell you like it is, many of you, your needs aren't supplied. You want a better home, you cannot think you're going to live better after you come into church. That you're going to rise up above the prophet that stands and sits in the way of God. Many of you have tried it, and it has not worked. Why? Because you have not sown the seed. You've got to see, has he, is he living in a nice home? If they are, then I can live on one. If they have a nice car, I can have one. Why? I cannot supersede God's man or God's woman. Watch this. She couldn't eat until Elijah ate. You see how quiet it is? This is not something I made up. This is right here in the Bible. In black and white. But we miss it. You know why? Because of that spirit. There's blinders and blockers. You know why? Because we've been trained by the world, by our family, by our neighbors to look at. Because see, there have been some bad representatives of God. But they never were representatives. I know you've seen some pimped out pastors. Okay? That didn't mean any good. But you cannot judge every person just by some bad ones. You cannot judge it. That's why you got to find your pastor. you got to find somebody that you know is true to the game and that's real. If it's me, fine. If it's not me, then you find somebody that can. Because unless you work this principle, you will not get the thing that you desire. This principle must be worked out. Come on, am I having somebody in here? Yes. That's why I got to say it. I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything to me. Look, you have no choice. I've been doing this for years and years and years. And you know, I'm definitely not the kind of cat that big. You don't hear me taking up offense for myself. Never know that kind of person. Not that kind of cat. Uh-uh. Now, I want to tell you something. Look at this. He said, Elijah said to her, fear not. He said, go and do as thou hast said. But, somebody say but. But. But make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after, somebody say after, after. notice the word, see we want to do it backwards, we want to go get ours first, and then if I got something left, I'll do what God say, well, well, well bishop need a computer, well let me get mine first, and then if I got something left, then I'll see if we can help him out a little bit. Well, pastor need blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, let me make sure I got plenty of suits first. And then maybe if I got enough and if somebody else will help out, because if Sister Watermelon don't do it, I'm definitely not doing it. Glory. If Sister Orange Glory. don't do it, I ain't going to do either. Okay. Mm -mm. And, 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 I, you know, and, and I'm going to get mine from, I'm going to get mine from uh, Taylor and I'm going to get his from Walmart. Well, well. That's our, that, yes it is. Yeah. That's our mentality. Yeah. That's our mentality. We go, we'll yeah. get the best for ourselves first. Let's try to get the best for me. Uh -huh. Then later on we'll do that. If there's something left, then we'll take, we might do, we might do something for, for the person. Yeah. Yeah. And we got it back. Mm -hmm. Notice what he said. Please, hear me good. He said, first, he said, go on and do what you said, but first. First, first, first. Why? Because there was a divine transference of blessing that was getting ready to come into that woman of God's life. And first she had to sow into that realm before she could receive out of that realm. Amen. He said, yeah, bake it, but first plant that seed. And then look what happened. Watch this. It's right here in the Bible. Amen. He says, yes, but make me thereof a little cake first and bring it unto me and after make for thee and for thy son. For this saith the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste Neither shall the crews of oil fail until the day right. that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Here is the here is why you are still struggling. Because we as a church have failed many places, have failed to sow properly into 
the men and women of God, hallelujah, that minister to their needs. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, Paul states, and I could go to it right now, he states that if I give you spiritual things, am I worthy to not get carnal things in return? Because that blesses you. But we have such a victim mentality. We got to break that. That's what's wrong with us. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to be, that's, what, that's what's holding you down. And, you, and I don't care how you pray. I don't care how you pray. You can pray till your tongue swell. You can shout till you get holes in the bottom of your shoes. You can fast until they call you skinny men. You can fast until like a rail. Won't nothing happen until you sow that seed in the ground. That's why God gave you gifts. He sent people that needed what you needed. And if you don't supply that for them, you have no right to get it in your life. Do you actually think that he's going to go past the, the men and women of God and just, just bless you in spite of? No. he got a system so that the system will be anointed. Yes. Many of us are doing things on our own. Right. We're not. We're doing things. We're, we're trying to do things independently, and then we want to come back and get God to bless it. And what we're doing is robbing God. Yes. We are robbing God. Yes. You are stealing from Him. Malachi, when he talks about that, your tithe is your covenant connector. That's what it is. That's all it is. It's saying that my life belongs to you, Lord. It, it blesses the 90% and gives you favor to keep it. That's not where the increase come from. Some of you have been tithing and say, where are my overflow? You didn't plant overflow seed. You plant sustaining seed. Sustaining. That means what you got, you won't lose. That is, somebody try to come and take it from you, somebody can step in and give you a blessing. Some of y'all had some stuff trying to come. I know, I, for a fact, I've been there to help some of you keep what you had. Or so they don't take everything they did you. Y'all don't want no word. Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. That's God's favor on your life. But that's not the increase. The increase is when I sow the seed of increase. That's why I said after you tie, give a dollar over. Do above and beyond. Okay? Covetousness is when I want everything done for me, but yet I'm not willing to give out the same amount back to the, to the individual or back to the person. Right. In other right. words, give me everything, but I only give a little. That's the way the world is. That's the way some people are in relationships. They want you to do everything right. for them, but then they don't want to do very little for you. Yes, when it's their turn to do something, they only want to do a little bit. Right. Only want to go part of the way. How many of you know the devil is a lie? Yes, he is. Yes, he is a lie. You have to ask yourself, have I went above and beyond what God called me to do, or have I just done enough? If you've sown just enough, how can you expect to get overflow in your life if you've only sown just enough? Well, see, y'all should be shouting out there, because I don't understand that kind of law. One plus one don't equal three. One plus one equal two. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. I have to sow that seed yeah. in my life. On, Let me tell you something. Whatever you're looking for God to do in your life, while you're struggling and striving and praying on your own and prophesying or prophesying on your own and walking in all this mess like that, being an idiot, being crazy, guess what? It's not going to be blessed. Right. You can't go aside God's word and be blessed. Look at this. Watch this. Then he said, he said, cruise on shall not fail. And she went. Verse 15, and did according to the saying of Elijah. Yeah. And look what happened. She did what Elijah said, and she and he and her house did eat many days. Yeah. Here is the mystery. Here is where the church is having problems. Because you are looking at what you have, and you come, you, 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 your own mind, you come up with the reason. And the Bible says, lean not to your own understanding. And you look at it and you say, I don't have enough. Right. I got a whole bag. I got bills to pay. Didn't God say that he know what you have need of? Yes. Didn't God yes. say, I know you got bills? Didn't yes. God say, I know you need a car? Didn't God say, I know your car backed up? Yes. A lot of times I had some people, they're not here. Some of them not here. But I, had, I, got, I think I got a few still here. But there were some people that realized, I, I, there was one young lady in particular. And, and you, you know, you, you remember. But she used to plant first fruits, first seeds, and she used to commit. Every month, one of her checks to the house of God. Amen. She would sow the seed. It took her from 
cleaning, cleaning, uh, cleaning up at the nursing home all the way to the mayor's office. Hallelujah. My mother, who by no means is, woo, not now. She put the principles of giving into practice. Uh -huh. She did free right now. Y'all heard me say that. Amen. She gave Amen. over and beyond. She started taking the IRS. I can tell a story. This is my mama. IRS was bearing down on her. She was in the negative. She had things happening. You know what she did? She said, I'm going to give myself out of there. She sowed seed. Hallelujah. And guess what? Not just sowed the tithe. Over and beyond. Uh -huh. She started doing first fruit. Applying the principles. Amen. Uh, the Amen. principles with prayer work. You just can't pray but not do the principles. Amen. I can't pray. If I'm a child, if I'm matriculated through college, which I did, and I'm doing algebra or trigonometry, I just can't pray over the tree but not apply the principles of trigonometry. i got to still work the principles of trigonometry. But I pray to have God give me the faith and keep distractions from me so that I have the focus and the anointing to do it. Yes. That's yes. what prayer does. Yes. But you just can't pray and it come and you not sow any seed. So you have to ask yourself today, is that, have I sold seed for that? God gave you somebody. He gave you men and women of God. That's why you find who you are. And God said, when you sow in their life and you make it happen for them, God, you have a right for it to happen for you. Amen. Amen. To the greater, the greater that you bless those individuals. Yes. The, look, you can say what you want to say, but then stay broke. Uh -huh. Stay struggling. Look, I've had many of you been with me a long time. You have to ask yourself, have I gone above and beyond? Well, what, have I, have, what have I made? Ask the question of yourself. Ask that question. You answer it yourself. I'm not going to answer the question because you already know the answer. You already know the answer. Then look at your life and the results of not doing certain things. And, and also not coming together. Because some things you could do more collectively. Even there might be a few people that try to do it individually, but they can't do it all individually. Yeah. That's why you got to come together and do certain things. Right. And then all of you could reap back the blessing yes. if you would come together, yes. but you're so divided. Yeah. I was telling somebody, I was telling somebody, I said, people, the people in the house of God, that's why God said the church should be unified. Because if, they were un if you're unified, you don't have to lose your mind because the men and women of God have certain needs. And you're talking about, oh, I can't do that. You could if you band together and do it. Yes. You could if you were on one accord and band yes. together and do it. But because this one don't want to do that one, and this one don't like that one, and this one don't want to work with this one, and this one, and that, and that, and that, all that foolishness, nothing gets done. Nothing. And you don't get blessed. You miss out on your corporate blessing because of foolishness. Yes, Lord. Y'all all right? Amen. Look, look, Amen. I, I, I'm going to be through in a minute. That's all right. You shouldn't have been praising so long. He said, now we'll look at verse 16. I'm gonna call this, this is not the end of this. This is the beginning. But hopefully this helps you today. He said, and the barrel of meal, it wasted what? Not. not. The barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of the Lord. Now watch this. Underline according to the word of the Lord. In other words, it was God's declaration and his commandment, uh -huh. his order that gave this charge. And because God ordained it to be that way, it was a commandment and a statute. And because of his word, and because of Elijah making the declaration, this is what happened in her life. Uh -huh. yes, no. In other yes, words, no. God gave us the commandment. The need came through Elijah. He yes. said, I got a need. Yes. You need a need. Uh -huh. He yes. said, supply my need first, then you can get your need supplied. Good measure, press down, shaking together, and running over. Amen. Amen. This is what takes your faith to the next level. This is what binds church. The reason many churches are not bound and people can walk out and leave, you know why? Because they don't really have a connection. Yeah. Because they never sacrificed. They never overdid. I mean, this is no offense to anybody, but this is the truth. They, when you invest something in somebody for real, you're going to be there. Tell when you done invest in something for real in somebody, you're going to be there, baby. When you got in, it's easy to walk away when you ain't invested nothing. That's, right. That's why some people walk out of your life so easy. You know why? Because they didn't invest in you in the first place. You was doing everything, and once you got tired and started saying, you got to do something, you got to pull your way, and all of a sudden they want to leave. They wasn't invested in the first place. That's right. The proof That's of the right. pudding, Marcus Garvey said, the proof of the pudding.